Hello world, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an incredible story to share with you, along with an important lesson on how to recover data from a raw hard drive. But before diving, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you won't miss any of our exciting tech tips and tricks. Let's get started. So picture this, I was hard at work, multitasking with all my favorite Adobe programs running smoothly on my computer. I was in the zone, creating amazing content when suddenly I heard an unusual sound like this coming from my hard drive. Panic set in as my computer stopped booting and upon restarting in the file explorer, I noticed that disks I and J were not found. As you see in the device manager, the challenge that I face for hard disk is Samsung SSD 870 EVO 1TB. I try to reach disk management, but it also doesn't cooperate. Tens of minutes later, disk management opened, and in there, as you see, I realized that the hard disk partitions had switched from NTFS to ROV file systems. And free person seems as 100% free, but I have data in those partitions. I knew I had to act fast to recover my precious data. But before we move on, let's quickly understand the differences between NTFS and ROV file systems. NTFS stands for New Technology File System and it's the default file system used by modern Windows operating systems. It offers advanced features like file encryption, compression, and journaling, making it reliable and efficient for everyday use. On the other hand, RAW is not really a file system. It is more of a state that a hard drive can be in when it hasn't been formatted with any recognizable file system. In other words, it's like a blank canvas without any organizational structure. This is precisely why I couldn't access my data when my hard drive turned raw file system. Now, let's get to exciting part. How I managed to recover my precious files. The first thing I did was purchase an external 2.5 inch hard disk box suitable for my hard drive. This simple yet powerful tool allowed me to connect my hard disk to a Mac computer with ease. So when I plugged into my Mac computer, as you can see, my Mac recognized the hard drive with its two partitions labeled untitled for I partitions and I titled one for J partitions. And when I open untitled, for example, all my files and folders are in there. Same for Untitled 1, all my files and folders are in there as well. From here, I can copy all the important files to the desktop effortlessly. It was such a relief to know that my data was still intact and retrievable. As an example, let's try one file to copy my desktop. And let's take this mp4 file, for example. I copy to desktop to ensure I had access to all my crucial data. And as you see, it copied to desktop safely. Once I had everything safely on my desktop, I proceeded to backup my files into a different hard disk, ensuring an extra layer of protection for my voluble content. Remember, data recovery is a critical process and it's always a good idea to have a backup in place. You never know when unforeseen circumstances may arise and having a backup can be a lifesaver. Now, there is more than one way to skin a cat, as they say. If you are not on a Mac, don't worry. You can use different operating systems like Linux to access your files too. The key is to find the right tools and ensure you are working in a read-only mode to prevent accidental data loss. It is read-only mode and you cannot use this hard disk again to write any data on it. So. There you have it, my epic data recovery journey from a raw hard drive to successfully retrieving all my precious files. Remember, 
If this ever happens to you, stay calm, follow the steps I have shared today, and you will be on your way to data recovery success. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech adventures. Until next time, stay tech wise and stay secure. See you in the next video.